Guys, I've got something special for you. Check this out. There's a new intro coming soon. What's up guys, it's Justin. Now tell me that house wasn't stunning. What you saw there was one of the many properties I've had the fortunate chance to film over the last couple of months with a friend of mine. Now, while we've been filming for his clients, it's given me a great opportunity not only to grow as a videographer, but it got me thinking about one of the world's biggest growing industries. So in my video, my top five side hustles for 2021, if you haven't seen that, it's the first link just below the like button. I mentioned that social media marketing is one of the biggest growing industries in the world. And it got me thinking, why aren't more people doing this? So in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down social media marketing and the steps that anyone can take to get started. The last one is definitely my favorite, so make sure you stay tuned. So social media marketing is broken down into three main avenues, with the first one being social media ads. Nowadays, on most if not all of the social media platforms that we use, we are occasionally going to see two kinds of ads. The first one is going to be paid promotional ads. That's where your favorite influencers have teamed up with brands to promote a product or service and you normally see it in the title or in the description it will have in paid partnership with insert brand name here and the second one is going to be a sponsored post now that's where someone like you or me or a team of people are running a campaign for a brand to promote a product or service just like with the last one but they're running it versus going to someone else to run it so you'll normally see that as sponsored by and the brand name or you'll sometimes just see it as ad now unless you've got a big following already or you've got a viral video that is gaining you massive amounts of attention, it is gonna be a bit hard for you to leverage that following to charge a company for a paid promotional ad. Now don't get me wrong, as your platform grows on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, you will be able to charge that later down the line. However, sponsored posts are run by people that are no different to you or me. All they are doing are running ads through a campaign. Now the biggest players in this game is always gonna be Facebook, Instagram, and Google. These are the platforms that you would use to run these campaigns so the ads are targeted to the brand's ideal customers. For you to start making money in this field, you're gonna to need to follow these next steps. Step one, learn the trade. Go on Facebook and Google universities and learn from their free courses on how to run and manage campaigns and optimize pages and ads for better engagement. Step two, trial it yourself. Go on YouTube and watch someone build and manage a campaign for their own product or service and then try it out for yourself just so you can get used to the back end of the campaigns. And then step three, write a pitch and start messaging. Once you've got the hang of building, running, and maintaining campaigns, it's now time to start looking for some work. Now, this is the height of the digital age, and if a business isn't on any social media, they are missing out on a lot. And when I say a lot, I'm talking about a lot of potential customers that can be drawn to their business. And that's where you come in. So what you're gonna do is start messaging people on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, just to get yourself out there and start making connections and then land yourself that paid work. Now, don't get me wrong, you're not gonna be charging the big money right now, but once you start building your profile and influence in the field, then you can start charging more. So moving on nicely to the second avenue, and that is social media management. Now, if you know how to build a profile, whether it's on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, there's gonna be a market for you to go out there and help brands build their following and their engagement. And the beauty of this side of the business is that you can do this anywhere in the world, just as long as you know what you're doing and there's some internet, of course. So for you to get started, step one, learn how to build engagement and how to utilize a platform. It's pretty self-explanatory. There's gonna be plenty of videos online that will help you build a profile on a platform, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, 
any of the others, you can find those videos on YouTube. Now, when you're picking your platform, pick one that you know that you're going to be good at, one that you're very familiar with and learn the ins and outs of that platform, all the way from retention to hashtags. Learn as much as you can and what it takes to build on that platform. Step two, offer to build a page for free. For you to test out what you've learned, you're going to need to message people on that platform and offer your services for free. Help them build their platform and that will give you the chance to put what you've learned into practice and learn how to engage with your clients. And once you've done that, then you can move on to step three. Step three, get your work out there. Once you've built your track record of brands that you've helped build a bigger audience, it's time to leverage that to land some paid work. Get everything together, get all of your tips and tricks, all your work that you've done and start messaging brands. Keep your prices very moderate because you want to start fairly lower. Get some paid work landed and once the ball's rolling, then you can start charging a bit more. And if you want to, you can also add the first avenue, which was social media ads into the mix to make a bit more money as well. Now we're coming on to the third and final avenue, which is definitely my favorite, and that is content creation. Now, we are living in a world where a lot of information and entertainment is being digested in video form. And I'll admit it myself, I prefer to watch something than to hear it on the radio or read about it in the newspaper. And when it comes to helping build a brand's engagement, nothing is more important than the actual content that the audience is going to be seeing. For me, I've been working heavily in the real estate market and what we'll do is go into these high value properties and start taking videos and pictures and start creating a compelling and exciting video that the clients will then use to build hype and draw attention so they can sell that property. So for you to get started, step one is equipment and knowledge. Now trust me when I say a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, believe that you need the best cameras, you need the best equipment, you need the absolute top end of the stuff for you to be able to make money as a videographer or content creator. And trust me when I say you do not need that. Clear? Cool. Reason being is because some of the best smartphones right now are competing really, really well with some of the best known DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. So if you wanted to, you could use your smartphone. It's not as professional, but you could use it. So when it comes to equipment, you are going to need something that's going to take great photos and great videos, whether that's going to be a smartphone or a camera, it really depends on you. If you want to look a bit more professional, then I would suggest getting a DSLR camera, something that you can change the lenses with because that will help you later down the line. Secondly is going to be a stabilizer. So that's going to be a tripod, a gimbal, or even a camera strap, something that will help smooth out your footage and make everything look a lot more pleasing to your audience. Because the worst thing that you can do is have a video that every 10 seconds, it's just shaking. And trust me when I say I've had videos like that in the past, go back on some of my other videos on YouTube and trust me, you'll see that they are trash when it comes to stabilization. So get something that will make your footage nice and smooth. And lastly, what you're going to need is the knowledge. So go on YouTube, go on Udemy, go on Skillshare and learn the trade, learn how to use your equipment. If you're getting a proper camera, then learn how to use that proper camera and learn how to build yourself up to be able to start going out there and start charging. Step two, work for free slash cheap to build your portfolio. Like I mentioned in the other avenues, you're going to need a portfolio for you to get out there and win business. So get out and start messaging people, whether it's friends, family, brands, offer your services for free and start building your portfolio. You can even do videos from home like YouTube, like I'm doing with this video now. All of it contributes to your portfolio and it will help you start building your style of content creation. So start creating. Step three, get active to get paid. Now you've got your portfolio, it's time to get active and start messaging brands to offer your services. Just like with the other avenues, start moderate, start with your prices a little lower just so you can start winning the business and once you've got the ball rolling then you can start charging more as you get better as a content creator 
Now, what you want to do here, and I will always suggest it, is find a style that works for you and twist it up a little bit just so you can stand out just that touch more from the crowd. There you have it, guys. That is my guide to social media marketing. It's an industry that's going nowhere anytime soon, so we might as well make the most of it. Out of the three avenues, I'd love to know which one really piqued your interest. Let me know in the comment section below if you're going to be trying it, jumping in. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you like the little trailer we did for the recent house we went to and you want to see more videos I do for my clients, make sure you hit me up on my new Instagram handle, which is the visuals at JG. I'm going to be doing a lot of my YouTube work and my client work all on that page. So make sure you check me out and let me know that you came from YouTube. But just as always, if you liked what you saw today, make sure you press the like button. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop my next video. And if you've got any other comments or questions, hit them down in the comment section below. But just as always, I appreciate your time and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.